and we keep that fun from the side down. You right, ladies and gents, how's it going? I'm back out green laning. Life's better on a beater, and I'm out with Big Pezza. Now, my audio was particularly awful last time we did this. I'm hoping I found some improvements. This is a new lane. We didn't do this one last time. So I'm kind of interested to see how this one goes. Pez has actually warned me that this one's quite tough and he's going to struggle on it, on his road based tyres. Um, and he's told me that there's a, uh, a river crossing or something or other. Okay, so that's a stream. So this must be it. <laughs> okay, Pez, <laughs> you show me how it's done, mate. I'll show you how to stall a bike. Okay. Okay, go for it. Feeling it got good? Look here, look here, look here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, you're fun. <laughs> Ooh, you're fun. <laughs> My first river crossing! I'm a river enduro master! <laughs> that, that wasn't as deep as I was expecting. No. no. no yeah, I mean, considering how much rain we had. You have to look to the other side, don't look at the water. <laughs> okay, so we've full crossed, we've crossed a river, we're amazing, we're super enduroists. <laughs> off-road in my life I think and I have no idea what that speedo said or I have no idea whatsoever but oof that like, brought some prickles up my back that I did that was fananigans fananigans <laughs> I've never gone that fast before and uh... <laughs> right. so, we'll yep okay mate Pez has taken me on a hill climb. He's a really kind chap. He's breaking me in gently. <laughs> Apparently this one's pretty, pretty dodgy when it's wet. And uh, yeah, it's kind of wet. <laughs> it's called Chalk Hill or something like that. It's chalky and it's a hill. And chalk and hills and wet, they're not friends. So yes, thanks Pez. <laughs> it's an adventure. So I don't know how your bike is, but I want to keep it in a Higher than this Yep. Keep on the pegs. It's best to keep your weight length forward, but at the same time you don't want to too forward so you really don't have enough. Yep. So it's a weird uh, juggling balance. Okay. You know this thing called coordination? It's something I don't have a lot of, right? Okay. <laughs> uh, right. So that hasn't filled me with trepidation at all. So again, if the audio wasn't good enough for you to hear what he was saying, he says stay in a higher gear than I would normally slip the clutch, stay on the foot pegs and maintain speed and he said yeah keep your weight forward but not too far forward because you lose traction if you do that um, yes I'm not scared at all I think I'm gonna bin it I think I'm gonna bin it at the moment it's okay but it is sliding my back end is moving around quite a lot but we're all good so far, we're all good so far. This is very slidey. I'm chugging it at the moment, not having to slip the clutch yet, but I am going very sideways. <laughs> this is hard work. I'm trying to keep a reasonably constant throttle, but I am proper sideways. Proper, proper sideways. Oh my word, I've caught up with him. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that at all. Oh. Man. Oh. 
Jesus. Oh shit. He wasn't wrong. He wasn't wrong. But at least I held it without bidding it. Whew. Wow. Well, he told me to stay here if I come off because he said there's a high chance that I'll just go sideways again if I try and pull off without him helping uh, so I'm just going to wait here Whew. I'm pleased with how far I got up that though it's steeper here though I've no idea how hard it gets but that was some sideways action that was probably it was only like that far but for me that was like that fucking far it's as big as the world jeez and it's got stuck hasn't it <laughs> oh he did it in the back of that part Jesus rescue's on the way laddie rescue's on the way it's probably the worst time to take him up <laughs> this is the worst time to take him up it is literally the worst time to take him up of the year I just realised you got all the wet all the leaves it's like extra slippery oh I screwed him over oh I did oh I'm so sorry oh dear I think he's just crashed his pizza <laughs> so this is the rut I feel crashed into oh, that's a deep rut isn't it oh it's going sideways he's gone sideways How did you crash? No, I held it. Did you go a bit sideways? Very, very sideways. <laughs> right, hang on. Do you want to do it? What do you want to do? Well, how much? Does it get steeper? No, it's not steeper than this. You're almost out. Yeah, well, we may as well try and get up. Okay, you want to stay to the left? So let's stay to the left, yeah? Yeah, okay. okay. So you want to do a recovery, yeah? Okay. So you want to recover this, yeah? Okay. So hang on. Let's, um, let's get it into this rut. Go to the left! Left, left! Left! Yeah, that's it! Oh. Man, this is hard work. Slipping the clutch like crazy. I can't do the foot pegs now. Just dead. Slipping the clutch here first, just to get up. Chuck it in seconds. There we go. There we go. Oh man. Thanks, Pezza. Thanks, Pezza. Oh. That was slimy and hard bloody work. <laughs> Thanks for that man. <laughs> that climb must have been hard enough on foot. <laughs> yeah, when I was on the down, I was slipped down. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what though, you know I've done it, it's probably one of the hardest climbs of the year. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get better from this on. Yeah. Oh. Even I was flipping the Well, you got shitty tyres. And we're up! Now, I know a lot of people who watch off roadie videos and have off roadie bikes themselves probably ride an awful lot faster than I am currently at this very moment in time. But remember, I am new to this game, so please bear with me. Now I'm hearing an awful lot of things tinging off my sump guard which I don't mind if they're tinging off it 
what I do have a problem with is if the mudguard is teeing off the ground because it's fallen off. So um, yes, we're going to have to see how secure that is when we get to this next stop point. Now the teens could have just been sticks flying up at it. Could quite easily have just been that. And if so, that's not a problem. This is fun. This is outdoorsy. Even at this ridiculously slow pace. Ah, see, I did one-handed off-roading. I oh, must be amazing. <laughs> yeah, Pete. Yeah, Pete. You keep telling yourself that. <laughs> I kept hearing things tinging off my sun guard yeah, yeah, so did I. and I was like, is it falling off? Yeah. Oh, that was a good idea. Go, it's a good job you've already got wet feet. <laughs> oh. Keep going first, keep going first, keep going first, keep going first. Thank you. All right, let's back it off a little bit, I'm too close to it. Lose these goggles. Okay, this is the deep one, I think. Oh, it's not too bad. Whoa! <laughs> not too bad. Yeah, you cocky cunt. <laughs> oh, I bricked it. <laughs> but I didn't bend it. This one's quite rocky. Yep. Don't let the get away from that. Yep. This one, because uh, it's wet through. And uh, I think we're going to wait for the top of the So, uh, chugging second rather than revving first. Don't go too, don't go too quick. Okay. It's quite straight, and it might make you think I want to go through. Yep. So it can, but. It'll all go in tears. <laughs> He's trying to kill me! Oh, you're about to die. Let's uh, see you. Okay, so this one's rocks. Rocks are a new thing to me too. Itchy nose. So he said it's very easy for me to find myself going too quickly and to just not let the bike get away from me. Oh, this is quite enjoyable actually. Uh, I quite like this. It's, in my opinion, it's technical. It's not technical, it's damned easy. A proper enduro rider will be coming at 60 mile an hour probably. Now this is going to be fun. A tree lower than me. You think you can get through? Do you think? Yes, you, can. Um, you should be able to. Right, let me go through first. I think we can get through that. Yeah, really oh, don't worry about that. It's a dirt bike. Oh, he's gone through Doddle. An absolute Doddle. My turn. Goggles on, man. I can't see anything. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad at all. <laughs> Look how close that was. Fuck you know. Look how close it was. That's, how close it was. That's um nearly got your nads, mate. Did you not see it? Did you not? Did you not see it? I saw it and I hit the brakes and just <laughs> No, it didn't count. I pushed mine through. You know the comic moment where I let go of the branch? It's going to slap me in the arse. Slap. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh shit, shit, I need to break. Fine. <laughs> Trying to cover the rear brake, get used to having the rear brake under my boot. 
because I haven't used it very much on this ride because it's very awkward for me to get to. I was speaking to Pez um, when we were stopped earlier on. I think I'm going to extend it out a little bit because it's just not somewhere that's convenient for me to be able to reach. And uh, I don't think it's the fault of the beta. I don't think it's bent. I think it's just that because I've got an ankle that doesn't bend or twist as well as it should that I can't get my foot to it comfortably so I'm just trying to give myself a little bit of muscle memory by keeping it tucked up above it and I hope that that makes life a little bit easier when I need to get my foot to it in a hurry and it's sort of fine doing this standing up I'm just having to sort of twist my body weight a little bit Oh yeah. Do you need me to move? No, it's alright, it'll be alright. Give him a minute. Come on, that's alright. It's a lovely horse. And off we go. With only 30 seconds of our life drained away. And we'd love to see a nice horse. We all use these roads. If we don't treat each other with respect, guess who gets penalised? Not the horses. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Sheep! Ha ha Sploosh! <laughs> oh man, this is fun. I think this is a good distance to sort of stay apart because we stay inside of each other so we can see each other if anything goes wrong. But also far enough away from each other so that we can not rise up into each other's backsides who are for now chortled see <laughs> he's got no grip he's got no grip I got nobly ties than him he's got no grip <laughs> slip slide Well then ladies and gents, we're just about at our end destination. Gonna have ourselves a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, whatever Pez is a choice. It's more round I think. So if you've stuck with me this far, thank you very much. If you haven't done so already, please click that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, give a little thumbs up. And if you didn't, give a little thumbs down, that's all good, we don't mind. Whatever you do, please drop in a comment. Let me know what it was you liked and what it was you didn't. Please give Pez a look out on YouTube as well. I'll put a link to his channel at the end of this. He's done some wonderful things. Those of you that follow him will be fully aware. But yeah, trips around Europe, all sorts of stuff. Quite adventurous, quite awesome. Any hassles? You ride safe. Take care. And I'll see you all in the next one. Say bye, Pez. <laughs> <laughs> Laters. Keep that boy. Oh, my stickers are falling off. My stickers are falling off. Hey, no, you gotta keep that boy. <sighs> Rubber sign down.